Oops, I, I should say. I don't know if that was actually him, but maybe he wasn't lying. I still thought it was interesting. Yeah, Group 6 pays fucking insane money. I forgot he was saying that to flop, but we found out that... I wonder if that was him. Damn, it smells like a bitch. What the what? fuck? Hey, I know I'm you're... Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm yeah. joking. I'm joking. You're probably It'll a little preoccupied. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm joking. No, no, I'm not. Oh, shit. Okay. They're, uh, the club's off doing a, a big job. I'm, I'm just chilling. Oh, all good. I got a quick question for you. First mm. off, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Not bad. How are you? Doing all right. Do you know the guy, a guy named Silas Marino? Uh, can't say I don't. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to give you the TLDR. I got a random phone call from this guy named Silas. Marino. Uh huh. And he was like, hey, uh, you know, my name is Silas, blah, blah, blah. We should have a chat. I was like, I'm sorry, do I know who the fuck you are? Like, <laughs> just a random number calling me? Do I know you? Like, what's going on? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm running for mayor and I heard you left the PD and I wanted to talk with you. And in my head, I immediately said, okay, really, I feel like it's like something you start with when you call somebody, right? Not Could be a guy just with like terrible people person or like, uh, you know, people skills. <laughs> Maybe, but I just thought it was fucking weird. And he wanted to meet with me and chat about that. Um, I mean, that name sounds familiar just because I remember he ran for um something back in the day. It was like the, uh, he's apparently running for mayor right now. He ran for civ it was like civilian oversight or some shit. Cause I know that him, Theo, uh, Archie Archer and a bunch of people were running for that. Like one thing. Hmm. I think he ran for that too. Interesting. That's the, that's the only. I'm just. He, I... tweet, he he does tweet a lot about like, like some meme like meme quote shit. But other than that, I I don't I don't think I've ever met the. I don't even I think I've met the guy ever. Oh, I have sold him a car before. Actually, maybe. He's advertising as a paralegal legal aide in the Lemon List, mm. but he's not advertising that he's running for fucking mayor. Does that not seem weird? Uh, You're a politician running for a campaign, supposedly. Yeah, I have no... Uh, I've got... You get what I'm saying. You you see why I think this is when weird, are, right? When are, when are the elections? <laughs> Didn't they just happen? <laughs> that was like a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. Yeah, I don't know. He just wanted to talk to you about mayor shit. He wanted to talk to me about why I left the PD. Oh, okay. I mean, I got no problem telling this dude. That must, be, <laughs> that must be fun saying it for like the 50th time. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if only you knew just how many times I've had to repeat this to people. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't mind regurgitating again. You just don't know who the guy is. Um, yeah, I, I just, it's so weird. Whether he is or wants to or whatever his case is. You would think that if he wanted to talk with people, why he would do it so early. And not for nothing, I don't know when the next election is, but I feel like my opinion is not gonna matter in due time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just confused. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, yeah. Uh, I've only heard his name or seen his name on Twitter for when he was running for like Cobb, which I think was Civilian Oversight Board. And then uh, he tweets out about like, she ruined uh she ruined my escape until like 2009 or some shit like that i feel like i remember him saying something like that i did check uh i i i overlooked legion square he said he was at legion square i did see an infernus drive by and i see he owns one a I, I i i don't know it was a red infernus i saw though so i'm gonna go look and keep my mm -hmm. eye out i don't know if i <laughs> i trust this okay We'll see. I'll, I'll give you a shot and let you know. What, what, what do you got planned today? 
Uh, I was gonna sign in the mechanic and see if um, anyone wants to repair it because uh, we got parts, man. Do we? Sick. We got we got tons of parts. Check the other benches. It's it's good. Yeah, I checked this. Uh, the first one didn't. Hit. Oh yeah, yeah no. It's up good. Oh good. All right. Well, Finn, fuck. Finn, Finn was saying that he can do performance shit while signed in. So yes. Like, oh, like, if, if you're I signed can't... in and ready and like check off that you're ready, you could do cosmetic and performance. What? Okay, I'm gonna try and check. My, I'm gonna try and see my fucking. Yeah, run it back, man. Do your thing. If you need anything, give me a shout. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Dude, we saw the red furnace, and now I'm thinking, okay, if that's true. Boop. What is that? What is that, a buffalo? Yep. What the fuck? The one and only. That thing's kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Damn. Yeah, no piggies. Yeah, me and my butte. Mm hmm. Is it an STX? Damn right. The interceptor. Okay. All right. Hey, listen. Yeah. It's a good looking car, I'll give you that. Yeah, no biggie, I guess. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just not a big deal. It's just a little car, right? It's just a little guy, I yes. know, yeah. yeah, sure, it goes above 171 miles an hour, as you know, the tourist caps out at. This goes above that, no biggie. Who the hell? Bones, is that you? No. It's Bradford. It's way to, way to die of Bradford. Wait, hold on. Bro, Wrangler, it is so fucking good to see you. Jesus Christ, where have you been? Okay, excuse me. Wrangler, listen. A lot of shit's happened since you've been gone. Who can I raid? Who can I raid? <laughs> listen, Wrangler, if you need anything, don't come to me. But if you have any probable cause to arrest me, you'll probably find a way, okay? Hey, firm. All right, listen. Don't start speeding, kiddo. I won't. Don't you worry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just a lonesome, lame little uh, four-door sedan, as they say. All right. That's illegal. That's very illegal. His that lights are not. Very illegal. Yeah. Who like is that? I'd like to make a formal hour. complaint. That was I'll, incredibly. I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them right uh, now. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I right, love you. Love you. Bro, why are there so many cops? Bradford's great. I could, I, I knew it was him, but I was like, wait, who does he look like? I could fucking one up this real quick. I don't know if Flop would go talk to this Silas guy. I'm gonna be straight up. I like, I'm trying to like think about what Flop would do in this situation. He doesn't trust Silas. Offer him some shitty coleslaw away. Oh, wait a minute. You reminded me. I, I have an announcement today. I have a big announcement. After the debate with coleslaw earlier, I met some family for dinner. And I got me some motherfucking coleslaw. I don't want to brag or anything, but you know, it was pretty fucking good. And then I texted Ziggy and he said, disgusting. So I said, build the bridge and get over it. I'm leaving boosted. Don't fucking judge me, man. Also boosted DM me the, uh, No, heck off. Coleslaw sucks. Dude, have you ever had coleslaw in like a fucking burrito or some shit? Was that an unmarked? No, no, but does it look unmarked to you? Oh, yeah. You you got like slick top everything. God damn. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to put this away then. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I just figured I'd give you a shot let you know. All right, thank you. In a burrito, dude, coleslaw on a sandwich, coleslaw on like a chicken, like a fried chicken sandwich, or like, oh, dude, coleslaw and stuff is so good. 
Yeah, I, listen, I, I'm not even gonna fight about coleslaw. It's okay to be wrong, guys. It's all right. It's okay to be wrong. Oh, we're getting robbed. Is that a local? That looked like Jamal. Was that Jamal? Oh my God, it's a local, I think. What? There were two people in that fucking RV. Yeah, I don't think Silas would meet with this fucking... I, I don't even know. Running for mayor. Uh, who else would know this guy? Duncan, Mickey, Arnold. Call it Judge. Judge Weiss. Hello, Your Honor. How are you? Hello. Not too bad. What can I do for you? Um, I have an interesting question for you, and I just, I just wanted your opinion on it. Uh, okay. I don't expect you to have a lot of answers for me and I don't expect you to even know how to help me with this because it's kind of just more me seeking insight on an individual that called me. Uh, my, okay. name, my name is Flop. I used to work for the PD. I retired and I got a call from an individual by the name of uh, Silas Marino. Are you familiar with his name at all? Uh, No, like I've seen the name on Twitter, I think, but that's mm. about it. Okay. I got a call from uh, Silas Marino and he was telling me how he's running for or is planning on running for or something something mayor okay and he wanted to he he didn't tell me that at first first he just called me and said let's have a chat i'm like i'm sorry do i know who the hell you are <laughs> and it turned into him saying uh oh sorry yeah i'm running for mayor or whatever he said uh and, you know i heard you left the pd i wanted to talk with you about your reasons do you know when the, the elections are supposed to happen <laughs> did, did they just happen um i don't know when i mean they're they're at least a couple months out i think it might be about 30 but i've been a judge now for what a little over 30 days so it's been about a little over a month um so there's you know six to seven weeks left before there's going to be another election uh, just so he might be getting a, a little bit ahead of himself there but uh I think a little too ahead of himself. I feel like if he was trying to run for mayor, he would be advertising it in Lemon List and he's just advertising that he's a legal aid. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm a little like, I guess as the kids say nowadays, a little sussed out by this guy, <laughs> put simply. Um, um, I mean, he, he doesn't have any criminal record or anything. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, you know, it, it, he's welcome to state his intentions. As of right now, there isn't any official announcement as to exactly when the elections will be taking place or anything. Uh, so he might be a bit ahead of himself, but I guess there's technically nothing wrong with uh, over preparing. I guess. I mean, hey, listen, hindsight's twenty twenty. Whatever he's got on his mind, so be it. I mean, maybe I'll talk to him, but I don't know. I feel like if he was to be more proactive in his publicity for running for mayor, I feel weird to be. In, I mean, yeah, granted, I was member of the police department for many years, uh, serving the island, but outside of that, I. Uh, but weird to be singled out, I guess. So I was just kind of trying to feel out if uh, the DOJ even knew if this guy had interest in running or if I could get any credible source to comfort me in knowing if I should even go meet with this guy who I've never met before. Yeah, I unfortunately don't have really too much information one way or the other for you. That's fine. All good. I, I, like I said, I, I didn't expect you to. 
I haven't actually formally met you before, so I apologize for calling with just straight up questions. No, that's for fun. That's what I'm here for. I know, but trust me, Your Honor, if there's anything I know, I understand that the DOJ uh, is always trying to keep one foot forward, and I feel like I always see your name. And I'm not saying no one else does the job, but I feel like you've been very proactive. So regardless of how much you may know or not know me, I appreciate everything that you've done to try and keep the DOJ uh, going around these times. It's very hard to see a judge every once in a while, so. It means a lot. Thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate it. Not a problem. I'll let you do your thing, uh, but I appreciate your time regardless. Yep. If anything else, give me a call. You know how to reach me. Sounds good. Uh, All right. Your take Honor. care. Yep. Bye-bye. No, you're good. Bye-bye. Listen, Flop needs to keep his connections tight, okay? Flop needs those really tight connections. He, he needs that, like, that barrier. You know what I mean? Flop's got it. But he, uh, you know. Is this my old sim? It has to be. Whose fucking sim card is that? Got so much shit here. I gotta move this into the nines van. I gotta get ready to sell this thing at a moment's notice, dude. Ugh. I gotta carry my stash with me. There we go. Oh, there's more. Fuck. What? Whose sim is? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I have a backup sim. I forgot about that. I knew that. Fuck. Just enough space. Let's go. All right. Why talk to Silas when you can get tea? See, the problem though is that the way that Silas approached Flop, Flop as a character would turn around and be like, bro, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you have to understand, Flop knows that you know, from what Richard told him, unfortunately, people are kind of looking for him. Uh, and he doesn't really trust a lot of, you know, what people have to say. Uh, Flop has lost a lot of trust in a lot of people and doesn't really suspect that anyone has good intentions. Uh, and I think with good reason, he should not walk into things blindly. Flop as a character. So, uh, I, I will say this much. Flop, five years ago, would have gone to this meeting. Flop today uh, would not trust it as far as he could throw it. Because if Flop wouldn't meet him alone, Flop probably wouldn't meet him alone. Why keep a broke phone? Ah, uh, because there's a SIM card in it. God forbid somebody ever gets a chance to look through the van. Uh, it's more likely that somebody probably would overlook a broken phone than they would a, a perfectly good working SIM card. So. What if he had backup? I mean, he probably would have. It depends. But he came off way too suspicious for Flop to have any ounce of trust in the dude. From his hubby's club. Well, that's why he was calling Tally to see if Tally would be willing to be overlooked for him. He kind of fumbled that. The thing w with respect, Silas could be completely just like genuine interest, but the problem is that he doesn't know Flop nowadays and he doesn't realize that Flop, unfortunately, between the distrust and pushback he got from his family and everybody, Flop as a character is a little bit. Uh, we'll call him brittle. He's a little bit more uncomfortable with the idea of expressing kindness to people. Flop has become a lot more jaded. He was, he's been a more jaded character now, but he has been a more jaded character, period. So. That's just the reality, the unfortunate truth, I guess you can say. At least we can sell the felon now and advertise it. Perception of first impression is everything. Oh, a absolutely. Listen, I I'm sure Silas had Anna's good intention. And I'm sure at some point there might be a chance that uh, Flop sees him. But the truth is that Flop is not going to... You, you get it.
I almost don't want to use this as a stash card. It's so fucking funny, but it's really not anything cool in my stash. It's just a bunch of IDs from Rue. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, it's the vase! What don't we need in here? Some books, probably. Those are good. Uh, the dusters stay, the IDs, whatever. Ammo needs to stay. Pennies can go. Uh, what are these? Bunch of shit. And then what's this? This is an important book. I didn't realize that I had this still. This one can go. The special notes have to stay. Hello. What book is it? It's one of Rue's books. Actually, speaking of Rue, shit. We'll pull it out and read it. How about that? We'll, we'll have some fun and read it. Eh. Oh, hey, Chris, you should probably, I don't know, park your nines van? Just some food for thought. Not You don't have to, but like, if you were going to, maybe you should. All right. All right, let's, let's read this. Full of body parts? Wait, you too? God, there's so many people. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa. We learned a lot more than before, more lies than I thought. Lies told to both me and you more and more are not adding up. I'm beginning to think he never cared about us. I won't say he thought the same about you. I will never be the one to, uh, to talk away your family, but it's apparent that love really didn't matter to him. I'm sorry, Rue. Please try and get a hold of me as soon as you can. If you can't talk to other people, just know you can come and talk to me. Ah. Uh. Taking every fiber of my being to not go out and do something stupid myself. I know that's not what Flop would want, though. At least not recklessly. I know he wouldn't want to wake up here alone. So I ask you stay here till he does wake up. You need to leave for club things. I understand, but just keep checking in. I also know he wouldn't want to wake up and find out we're here in the hospital, either dead or dying. 
We can talk about how we'll handle this later. Try to get a hold of some. Trying a lot. Oh, man. Dude. Dear whoever is sleeping here, here are some fresh blankets and pillows. Use... I understand a lot of the emotions will be going on in your heads, and it will be a lot to process. I will let it... any of you know if I hear any updates on his condition. I've only met him a few times, but he is a lovely human being. You all would care about him so deeply and be worried. It's scary to see your loved ones like this, but from what I've seen, he is a strong individual and he will make it through this. I know most of you wouldn't know me, so it's known as odd, but please be careful. You all deserve everything and more. Bro. I want to say a few things. First off, it's both sweet and a really uh, good thing that you care so much for the family. They do the same for you. It is a difficult thing to come to terms with. Not being able to help. That's the exact struggle I'm having myself. I want you to know you're not alone. It's okay to lean on us. Me especially, all things considered. You've been doing a really good job thus far, and I want you to know I'm proud of you. I really am. Thank you for always being a shoulder for me to lean on. I will be back. Of this, I am sure. That was from Shang. Oh, Fraps here. Hey. Wow, dude. Those notes hit so differently. Like. I think he's such a good dad. I guess the difference between Ziggy and Flop is that Flop likes to talk to Rue directly. There's not a lot of note having between Rue and Flop because they see each other so often, but I understand with Ziggy. It's nice to know that he, he leaves a bunch of notes. We, we had to get that back to Rue. It's so sweet. Well, I, I don't think she realizes that Flop still has the note. You good? Bruh. decided two infections at once we love that i i hope you feel you, you start feeling better i should say um wow dude dude that local fucking i thought that was actually a person flippy yeah i think flop is way more with his words whereas ziggy is way more with his writing you okay Okay. All right. Sounds good. Oh my God. You. Oh, oh hi to Flop. Hey. Get on duty. What? Get get on duty. What? I I hey, Flop. I. Hey. What what, I'm good. How how are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm gonna park the, illegally. That's fine. Okay. Oh good. I do not need to pull you out myself. What? Oh you were you <laughs> on fire? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Here, have a penny. Or two. What are you guys up to? What's going on? Yeah, well, I'm doing good. I just got on duty for a little bit and trying to relax and do some, uh, uh, do a little bit of, uh, policing to relax, you know. I got gotcha. you. Hey, listen, I, I, I fucking love that for you guys. That's great. That's awesome. I heard, yeah, uh, I, I... sorry, what's no, up? Go ahead. 
No, go ahead. Go ahead. You heard what? Oh, I, I, I heard that. Uh, I, I overheard it from God. I don't even know who, but I heard someone make a comment about LSPD today, and I was like, ooh, that's rough. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of drama. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping to catch some of these guys in command and whatnot, or some of these people that maybe have transferred. Um, I kind of. I don't know why there's a lot of these folks that are like, I'm not, I'm not in the LSPD. I don't give a damn. It's, you know, let them deal with it. Mm -hmm. That's a shit. That is not. It, it, That's a horrible mentality to have. It's if, not if, good. If you put a wedge between two departments, you're never going to have a functioning unified police department. That's literally mm -hmm. the catalyst to failure. Yeah, exactly. And, and I'm, I'm pretty concerned about it myself, but it mm. seems like nobody else is. And, uh, I'm a little bit worried about that. At least nobody else on, on, you know, that I have had the opportunity to hey, you know, you hear can't about. Park there. I was told I can. Mm, so I'm a sovereign citizen. Sorry. Um, I cannot hear you. Yeah, no, he can't hear you. Fuck, You're he a citizen. You. I'm sorry. I I'm a sovereign citizen. I'm traveling. There Whoa. we go. We'll need to confirm that. Face away from me. Uh, uh, Only uh, criminals resist. Oh. Uh, Oh. He's a criminal, sir. I'm not a criminal. I'm I'm not a criminal. Look at him. You know, you know how suspicious. hard it is when you when you because especially when you know, uh -huh. like when you when you know how to cuff somebody and you're taking a look at them and you know how how we're trying to cuff people, mm -hmm. it's real damn hard to not like you know re, just reflexively just you know slip out whenever you get the chance because you know when we're gonna let go with your hands. Well, I mean, you know, I, I got a little experience with it. I mean, granted, I'd expect if I ever did experience have experience in crime, understood. I'm not expect. I'm not literally the only crime I'm doing is. Not parking legally right Quitting now. Quitting the PD. Okay, that is good. A crime. That's not a crime. I was gonna say. No, I'm. I literally. I'm just. I'm just a guy. I work at Milton's. I do mechanic work. Wait, that okay, is. Okay, good. Yeah, you're not allowed to do crime plot. That's bad. I know. At least not for now. <laughs> what do you mean not for now? What do you mean? I just. Everybody gets in a little bit crime of trouble. Crime is always bad. Crime, yeah, crime yeah, but is that, bad, but what if I run a red light? You gonna not cite me for that? I mean, come on now. Yeah, but that's like, you know, that's different. Traffic citation is not crime. That's. that's I mean, that's still crime in my books. I mean, you're. I, I, what if I run two lights? What if it turns into okay. negligent okay, driving? Well, now, okay, well now, now you're having a party. Okay, you, you gotta relax. I'm not trying to have a party. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a step back. I'm breathing. I'm here. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Just, just one red light at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if it's two? What what if I miss one and I'm just like, ah, oh, shoot. And then I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I'll commit to this one because I can see it's red, but I don't see any cops. And then I go through that like you one. See, you see it's red and then you're, you know, you missed it. It's like, oh shit, was that red? And you, you look back around and you look over your shoulder and then all of a sudden you turn around and you just ran a second red. You ever, you ever have a yellow light and you commit to it and realize I don't have enough time. So you punch it instead. <laughs> no, I do. I think he has a drinking problem, sir. What? I mean, I never... Look, I always have enough time. Hmm. I do too. I just, I just pray. <laughs> uh huh. Listen, the way I see it is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, shit. good luck. Well, I, bitch, uh, bye. Hey, officers. Oh, uh, howdy. Now, this what do you want? I'm Hello. About right here. here. Now, yeah. No, not officer. you, ma'am. Are, are these cops bothering you, ma'am? Ma is, is he bothering you? Yeah. What, what, bothering you? what the hell is happening? Oh my god! We're here to protect the women of Los Santos. Oh, yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. You better not oh, be harassing Larry, this is woman. that you? What? Larry, Larry is a girl. What the? That's uh, Laquisha. Uh, uh, it's Laquisha. Yeah. It's Laquisha. Laquisha. Oh, oh, back away. Nice. Laquisha. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be Take honest with y'all. I take. I would take a bullet for on fire. Mm. Mm. Yes, bitch. I would. Yay. Understood. Yay. On fire. Are these men reload. bothering you? Appreciate that. Oh. Sir. Oh. 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 <laughs> on fire. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. Stand back. Larry. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Wait. Well, hold on. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Larry, a, out of the damn car. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm, I'm staying back. Wait, I'm, on, sta I'm, I'm, car, I'm staying back. Oh, that was. Uh -huh. It's not, it's not like that. It's not like that. Please don't shoot me. Oh my God. I'm unarmed. I believe in equality. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. 
my son need to be. Please get out of the car. <laughs> On fire, can I put my hands down or am I going to jail? Hello? Is this guy under arrest? What? Is this guy under arrest forever for life? I don't know. No. I don't I don't know. I don't know what I did. There, there, I don't know what happened. I don't, happening. Happening. I don't know what's happening. Things I didn't do anything. Uh, is Flop <laughs> under arrest forever for life? <laughs> what? Why? Oh. All right, a firm. What, what happened? Things are on your back, sir. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're going to silly jail forever. Fuck. <laughs> oh, not the silly jail. I can't believe you betrayed us. Hey, we're looking for female officers, and we just we just want to make sure because it's girls' night that none of these men are harassing oh. you guys. I... Um, that guy just read me his ERP text with his wife. Oh, oh nice. wait, which that guy? Is... In the CBPI. Oh, no, 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 And this guy just bought me a turbo, so a little bit of juxtaposition. Really? What's you know, your intent I wish, behind buying her I that turbo? I wish you would buy me a turbo. You want her to buy you something? Why should she buy you something? No, I'm, I'm, I I'm, bought a you're, car, the, you're the man. I'm talking but about, I'm, use, I'm talking about so. Drader here. I mean, Drader, if you want to buy me a turbo, mm, I mean, I, I don't I know. Mean, I'm, I'm just saying, if you wanted to, uh, you know. That guy herbs with his wife. <sighs> you know. Drader? I think you're. I don't think Drader has uh, a wife. I do need an 89 oh, millimeter. Okay. I don't think Drader has a wife. I can see why. Truck. He seems timid. I think you whistle enough for yeah. both of us. Flop. What'd you say? He dies. And more power to you him. You heard me. That Did I hear you? Whoa, oh, tied to a man. No, 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 no. No, That's she's good. really into him. <laughs> okay, you know what? No, no I was explaining how she's yeah, yeah, yes, yes, she is. As long as you're not bothering her, okay? No, she, Don't forget, she, it's girls' night. Oh, she loves her. him and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Call her. Is it really girls' night? And ask. Yeah, it's girls' night. That's, that's a night for me? Here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, you know, I love I mean, it. I, I'd love like, to be here for this yeah. conversation, but by chance, I don't have food, so I don't pass the fuck out. My stomach is killing me. I do have food. <gasps> oh my god. I have for you. you shouldn't feed And a man I have like kindness that. in my heart. I, I will pay for the food. I'm also no, a little. No, it's okay. You don't no, need I, to. I'll, 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 oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my I god. I don't have an extra drunk. It's okay. I'll here. No, please. I, extra drunk. I insist. I don't have that. No, no, no. I don't. No, need no, money. no. Please, please. It's, it's. It's Helen, right? Yo, I don't need it. money from a man. Oh, no, I'm, I'm I can I'm name paying. 10 things girls need oh, right. before they have right. a man. That, that is right. right. That's what I am saying. One for the new bit. Two meal. lines of coke. Three two, drinks from the bar. Four uh -huh. more lines of coke. Five Ooh. guys' fries. Six hits of my blunt. Seven more lines of coke. Mm -hmm. Eight pairs of shoes. Nine BB ballots. Right. And 10 drunk cigarettes. Yeah. yeah that sounds like a You're good eating. night. You're She's eating, eating right now. Ate. Oh my god. I, got, I don't need money from a man. I got my own butt. I want money from a man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I'm good. Yeah. At least take the money as a as a thank you, Fisher Mark. If you okay, don't want it for the thank you for the hundred and twenty dollars. Of course. Appreciate. Oh my god. I have evidence on me. We gotta go. Oh, oh wait. What evidence? Oh. All right. Let god. us know if these. Things Men are bothering you, okay? Yeah. Just, just. If you need any help, you just say, "Girls' night, please help me on the water," okay? Okay, I will actually. Hi, hey, answer your sale. What just happened? <laughs> I have no fucking clue what just happened. Okay, they're, they're, yo, Helen's low-key snitch. Just putting that out there. Mm. I, just I told her that in class. I just realized, is this rain? And she's done that like three times to me. I'm related to the the erping part. That was, that was that's, we don't talk about that part. Mm. No, that was, she snu she snitched when I took body armor off oh duty. How much body armor was it? Off. It was just one. Tactical mm. exit. I just forgot. Got a rap battle. You know. Just don't pick one. McNulty, we're not doing another rap battle, unfortunately. No. What a stupid night. Rap battles are fun. Oh, we did one with the BBMC earlier. When we lost. Oh. It was very sad. We had Siobhan right. come down, judge it. Yeah. Cornwood does not know how to rap. Wait, don't drive away. I need to move my car. Please, God. Cornwood. Really, Tim? Uh, 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 hey, guys. Loki, call me, you asshat. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm 
I'm pretty sure that was rain based on his staff profile picture. Uh, we still need to go get food. Is this a find out an RP moment? I'm like 99% sure that's rain. So it, it's all good. Let's go grab some food and then see what the fuck everyone up to. Fox star. Oh, hell no. You're gonna be fucking kidding me. What is this shit? Where the fuck is the food? I'll call you. Don't worry. Wait, do you, do you have a Drake? Yeah, I just unfortunately. You, yes or no? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna have to chase me down. I, I'm okay. Oh god, bad news, flop. I only have fries. What do you mean? Going for cuffs? Only have fries. Thank you. Wait, do you have a drink, please? <laughs> I'm going to commit terrorism. <laughs> Hello, Flop the Gong. Dehydrated. I don't have any drink. If you have $200, you can get water, though. If I if I have what? $200, you can get water from the convenience store. I'm not spending $200 on a bottle of water. That's fucked up. The amount of water, the amount of drink you have to buy from Senior Buns will equal that $200. Jerry, is that you? Yeah. Do you need food? I need something to drink if possible. Food and something to drink if you have it. I'll pay you. Okay. Oh, don't worry about it. It's good you're to hear from you, Flop. I'm glad that you're still alive. Yeah. Kicking. I'm doing my thing, Duncan. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I'll give you a call soon. Or call me at some point. Okay, bye. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. You are the best. Thank you, Cherry. You you are... You you actually just saved a person's life today. I want you to know that. Oh, just remember that when I'm running from there. I will. Hey, quick question. You're running for mayor? Yeah, in the next election, I plan on running, yeah. Do you know uh, who Silas Marino is? Uh, I've heard of the name, but I don't know if I know him. Hmm. Was he a cop? I don't know. But he called me randomly, and I thought it was a little weird. He was talking about wanting to interview me about wanting to run for mayor. And I was like, or he wanted to question me about stuff for mayor. And I'm like, that's kind of a ways away. So, I don't know. It was, it was kind of interesting. Like... Him running for mayor or are you running for mayor? Him running for mayor, but he wanted to talk to me in particular. But he's not advertising oh. that he's running for mayor at all, so I think he's a little uh, suspicious. Well, it's still almost two months away. It's like, what, seven weeks away? So S Something like that. Jerry, I'm going to be honest. You may have my vote, so. Fuck yeah. All right. I appreciate it. I got to go beat somebody. You just saved my life. Thank you. All right. Anytime. Awesome. You take care, Cherry. Everyone's going to know his name. I just want to know who the fuck he is. Let's go see Dean. Let's go hang out with the boy. You forget how to be a criminal? Would you like me to break into your government vehicle? It's harder than it looks, man. Is it? Oh my God, you have a mustache now? Also, yeah, I'm also BCSO? BCSO? Yeah, can we like, oh. can we talk about that? What the fuck? Um, Damn. I, here's here's how I'll explain it, okay? And I, I, told, I told Ruby if I used this analogy, I'd give her credit. So I will give her credit first. Um, you know how like you go to the the grocery store and there's like a, a water bottle and it's like a, a dollar mm -hmm. and then that that same water bottle at like 
the airport is like six dollars right yeah and then that that same water bottle at like a concert is like fifteen dollars mm -hmm. well in the lspd uh you're basically a one dollar bottle of water and in in the pcso you're like a bottle of water at a concert people just value you a lot more what's wrong with my hair <laughs> makes sense I think we should talk at some point. The flop, I got done so dirty. It is crazy. I honestly don't expect you to tell me much, but if you ever want to sit and talk about it, I genuinely would love to point guidance. If anything. Uh, all I'll say. No, is, no, no, no. Um, None of this all I'll say shit. I, I want to catch up with you and talk to you at some point. I understand the job's yeah, important to you, Loki, but fuck. Let's yeah, sit and talk. It has nothing to do with that. I just. I don't like. Uh, Loki, almost, okay, don't... all I'll say at this very moment mm. is, um, you know, I was the only command member around in shift two for quite a few weeks because the other two were on LOA. Um, and uh, I was holding it down. I was around basically every single day for the entirety of shift two because LSPD needed commands, and um. Uh, I, I say, I'll just say I gave my opinion about something when I was asked to give my opinion about it, and for that I was called a uh, traitor and a snake. Then basically threatened with a demotion and then asked to transfer. Oh. So. And by the way, the opinion I gave wasn't even that crazy. I'm gonna say this much, and I'm gonna leave you with this. Give me a call at some point. I want to talk to you. Yeah. Give us like 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 yeah, seconds. All right, all right, my fault, my fault. Right. Um, Whoa. hold on, I did 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Hi. I didn't know it was you, motherfucker. Stop oh. yelling at me. Oh my god. Nine. Okay. Eight. Oh, well, I'm gonna need more seven, now. Loki, come here. Six. Hold what? on. What's up? What is happening? Hold on, we're going. I'm, I'm jaywalking. No. You make the list of like top three competent people who actually make the PDO welcoming place. Don't yeah. ever forget that. I yeah. uh, and I Appreciate mean it. I mean this wholeheartedly. Uh, you do not deserve to get treated like shit. I willfully took a demotion, and uh, I have been in the BCSO for two days, and I've actually gotten to have fun. And you know what's crazy? I only took the command position. You know I don't really give a fuck about rank. Oh, I know you don't. I took the command position because I just wanted people to seconds. have fun. No, I I, yeah. I know I know. But listen, it's, it, I'll be real. It's just a it fucking idiots. It is what it is. I don't know. At least now I can chill. I get the respect of being in command and not all the responsibility. So <laughs> what am I missing? It is what it is. <laughs> quick, You're quick. such a dickhead. <laughs> Fuck you, Kian. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Good. You? Next okay? question. Oh, I'm I'm peachy. I'm fucking great. Nah, you're not. That's okay. And nor am I. But we. Thank you, Juno. You know. I mean, listen. Hindsight's twenty twenty. We can hug in the middle of the fucking road in a busy intersection where people do hundred ninety, and you know, who knows? <laughs> maybe we'll both end up in the ICU. Let's get out of yeah, the fucking maybe. road, please. <laughs> this is your car. Yeah. Nice. One of. Okay. Are, are you with people right now? Uh, no, they had to, they had enough and uh, I'm not getting involved in like major shit. So the fuck is, I had to jump out. Is there a fucking lock on my wheel? Hello? Oh, yeah. I'm good. All right. Yeah, no, no, not with anyone right now. However, in about at seven past the hour, I need to go grab something and then do a bunch of shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. what's new with you? How you doing? Oh, it's going to be a full on tea um, day. Not much. I've only, I've, oof. I've only been around for a few days though. I took a real long break. Um, I'm trying out new things, you know? Um, legal things but i'm trying to i don't want to get a felony because i want to be like welcome to the club person yep hold on do you have a wire 
No, you motherfucker. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a wire? Of course I, I do. I live the one who recently left the police department and you're asking me if I've got a wire. I mean, to be fair, I left the PD and now I'm in an undercover operation to apprehend every felon in the... S no, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh, I'm not sure <laughs> how. Why, why did he leave? That's a loaded question. Um, yeah, I get it. <laughs> what was like the biggest reason, I guess, then, out of the many, I'm assuming? Uh, I got kidnapped by a gang. I'll leave them out for now. Uh, but put simply, I was picked up by a gang while going off duty to go hang with my family. And they kidnapped me because I was a cop and I was easy pickings. And they had problems with Den Shisey and a bunch of people in other shifts that of people that I didn't ever even see. And I was so certain I was gonna lose my life and they were gonna shoot me in the head that I asked them if I had if I could please have one favor. And I said, Can I call my family and say goodbye? And I called them and said goodbye. Um after that happened. Um I was then fed to a mountain lion after I was told by this gang. I thought I was getting rolled up on and I was so confused. Same. <laughs> um, but they ended up feeding me to a mountain lion and before they did, they said, you know, Flop, the best version of you was when you were a park ranger. You were a community cop. Uh, you cared. You were for the people. And to see it go, I told them that the badge changed, but I didn't. And I made the point to them that, you know, I, I tried. And yeah. I didn't get shot. And I look at that as very lucky. I tried to run at first, but I looked behind me and before I even considered doing anything. I saw six guns to the back of my head and I realized the mountain line was the better option. So when I got out of the ICU, um, I realized after I got out, everybody was kind of like, yep, glad you're safe. That things are fine. And I thought about it and I spoke with people and I realized how quickly people moved on from the idea that I almost lost my life. And I was reminded of two people who died within the last eight months, almost nine uh, now, that also died in the line of duty. Uh, do you remember Aziz? Yeah, he was a good one. He was. And do you remember Rooker? Mm -mm. Rooker was another one that passed. Uh, did you know, fun fact, neither of them got a funeral from the police department? Or a funeral at all? I thought about it. And I realized that the thing that, did, that scared me wasn't the fact that I almost lost my life. The thing that scared me was the idea that I was going to die for something that I wasn't even aware of. There was a, a conflict between this gang and the PD. That was it. And when I got out and I realized that no one really, you know, respectfully gave too much of a shit. By the way, there were 911s and a bunch of shit. That would have been enough probable cause to arrest the people that did it. Uh, warrants were never pushed and no one was ever apprehended for almost killing me. Uh, I realized that... Uh, my time was devalued, who I was didn't matter, and that I was a fucking cog in a wheel in a, in a system that only cared about themselves. And I have finally at that point given up. Uh, that was a lead up to a bunch of other shit that happened. Uh, I hate to say it, one of them was McNulty for why I made the choice. He can go fuck himself for all I care, but you know. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um... Fuck them. Fuck the place that is supposed to be unified and care for each other. We didn't, we couldn't even take an hour out of our day for a funeral and we are suspected to get on duty and die for these people and die for this city. I'm good. So. You did the right choice under the worst circumstances. Hmm. It was, uh, uh it was a lot. Yeah. It's kind of similar to why I left as well. So I completely understand. You've been happier for it? Um, I wasn't for a long time, but not because I wasn't a cop anymore. But weren't you, uh, 
What weren't you happy about, if you don't mind me asking? A lot of shit went down at the beginning of the year. And it kind of just kept going downhill. And it just felt like the five years that everyone was potted, that it was the same shit all over again by the same people and then the same patterns and events. And it's like I just couldn't catch a break and the one person that I thought that I could lean on I couldn't anymore. Um, it's just a, a cluster of things really. I didn't really do myself any favors either, but I wasn't to blame. I was never really to blame. But... Mm. I I'm better now. I, I think. I got out of rehab. Well, escaped rehab. Do I black bar this? And I'm trying to keep myself busy every single day, every minute of the day, so I don't think about alcohol. Fuck it. We will. A little cinematic moment. But, we haven't um, seen... If anyone who doesn't know, Teal the Art, Juno used to be a ranger in the PD and Flop was no her boss. Your family, right? I missed that last thing you said. I'm sorry. What was that? You mentioned your, 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 your family, right? Like, when we spoke briefly. Yeah. Your... I've been there. The same day that I decided to quit PD, it was the same day that I decided I didn't want Savo as my dad anymore. Who was your father? I'm sorry. Stubbo. You remember Stubbo, right? Yeah. I, uh... I'll be honest, there's a lot of people that I miss. Um... I miss Stubble for who he was before the war. And it breaks me to know that I lost the man that I respected over a war that none of us should have gone to fight. You know, I knew about that whole under undercover operation for months before even High Command knew. Which, uh... Which operation? The one where Divine went undercover. Really? You know, uh, Jaeger contacted me on multiple occasions to emotionally fuck with me by pinging me to a location with Divine's eyeball in like a glass that I had given him. Hmm. I was like thrown in the deep end with that whole thing. And no one really knew. But yeah, the war should never have happened. I mean, that, that news broadcast that, that that went out, how fucking ridiculous. That they literally egged on a fucking war. And... We decided to fight for what? I think a part of me at the time thought that me fighting over there would be closure to the, what, six months of the divine shit? Sure. But I think that was me actually fighting over there so I wouldn't feel any guilt after the fact if he had died. But then uh, I got shot in the back of the head. He sent out a hit a few months later. So I kind of wish he died. I arrested him too. You know how crazy that is? While he was like a, a wanted terrorist, whatever, war criminal, I, I arrested him without knowing it was him. Jesus. Yeah, that messed me up. In the middle of that build up and build up and build up. And then some shit went down, which involved him, but involved someone I cared about. And the PD didn't give a shit that they were shot down or kidnapped. And um, they told me that the only reason I cared was because of Divine. And at that point, 